Do you always feel like you're not being heard by those around you? If so, then you need to learn how to express yourself confidently. Today, I'm about to share with you the exact same process that I've used to improve my ability to communicate with others. Tip number one is to tell good stories. Have you ever noticed that the life of the party is usually the one who can tell good stories? There's usually a small crowd gathered around this person at any event. Everyone's eyes are glued to them and they're holding on to every single word that they say. Meanwhile, you're standing by yourself in a corner with your drink pressed against your chest. You're watching all of this happen and you're confused as to how they're doing it. If you can relate to that, I want you to know that you're not alone. As a former shy guy, this was also something that I used to struggle with. When I was younger, I was conditioned to focus on academic success above everything else. In fact, my parents often discouraged me from going out so I had more time to study. They wanted me to just stay at home so I wouldn't get distracted. Looking back now, I realized what a mistake that was. Sure, I did really well in school. In fact, I landed a high paying job in a prestigious engineering company right after I graduated. But when it came to my social life, I was failing miserably. Because I never paid attention to my ability to communicate for so long, I became socially inept as an adult. As a result, I found it very difficult to make friends, let alone get dates. I spent a lot of Friday and Saturday nights alone because I didn't have anybody to hang out with. I knew that if I didn't do anything differently, my situation wasn't going to improve. Sick and tired of always feeling left out, I decided to look more into this issue. That's when I realized that communication skills can be developed if you're willing to work on it. Fast forward to today, I have an active social life filled with individuals that I'm excited to spend time with. So if I can do it, you can do it too. To help you get started, you have to learn how to tell good stories. The next time you share something, make sure you structure it properly. That way, your stories actually make sense and don't just come off like a random thought. What you'll want to do is to set things up first. Give some background information and create some contrast if it applies. Avoid using too much facts and talk about how things make you feel instead. By doing so, you make your stories more relatable and captivating. Lastly, release the tension that you've built up when you talk about the resolution and make your point. Once you learn how to do this consistently, you'll become the star of your next conversation. Tip number two is to develop your wit. Being able to make people laugh is such an important skill to develop. When you have a good sense of humor, you'll be able to lighten up the mood in any situation. You'll raise your status in any group and people will feel good being around you. That being said, if you want to get better at conversations, you have to develop your wit. Typically, people find it amusing when you say something that's unexpected. That's why you have to be able to think more creatively. To help you with this, I encourage you to break your routine and try new things consistently. The more novel experiences you acquire, the more interesting you'll become. This will help you get better at making unexpected associations. You'll be able to come up with different ways of describing usual things. If you do this over time, you'll train your brain to become more spontaneous. This will help you think more quickly on your feet. That being said, if having a sense of humor doesn't come naturally to you, you have to prepare in advance. To help you implement this, Try to identify all the types of situations that you find yourself in on a regular basis. Once you have that list, try to imagine some clever comments that you can potentially say. This will help you come up with witty comebacks on the spot a lot more consistently. By doing so, you show others that you have an easygoing attitude. As a result, they'll feel a lot more inclined to interact with you because you're fun to talk to. Tip number three is to speak with certainty. At the end of the day, it's hard to sound intelligent if you use a lot of filler words when you speak. That's why you have to make a conscious effort to avoid using um, like, ah, uh, and you know during your interactions. Otherwise, whoever is listening to you will have a tough time focusing on what you're saying. This usually happens when you're nervous or when you're not sure how to respond to something. In fact, this is a common issue that I see a lot with our clients in our social skills coaching program. A lot of them have introverted personalities and tend to work in isolation. That's why they don't have a lot of experience socializing in general. Not to mention, very few of them have received proper feedback on how they interact with others. If this sounds like you, fixing this issue is actually really simple. All you have to do is to prepare some stories ahead of time. If you think about it, the same topics tend to come up in conversation over and over again anyway. That being said, write out some stories regarding your work, your upbringing, places you've been to, events you've attended, and your interests. If you want to prevent your mind from blanking out, this is one of the best ways to do it. 
The more stories you prepare, the more confident you'll feel interacting with anybody. This will ensure that you always have something to say. Another thing that you want to do if you want to sound more confident is to slow down when you're talking. You don't need to be in such a rush when you speak. Trust that whatever you have to share is important and that others will want to hear you out. By doing so, you'll come across more articulate when you interact with others. By the way, if you're tired of struggling socially and you want to learn more about our social skills coaching program, I'd love to connect with you. Book your free consultation today by going to socialconfidencemastery.com. That link is also available in the description below. Tip number four is to stop filtering yourself. Growing up in the Philippines, I was raised in a culture where I was taught to be very considerate of others. I was told repeatedly by my elders to be polite, obedient, and respectful. As a result, I rarely ever spoke up and just said yes to everything that they said. That's why I found it very difficult to assimilate when my family and I moved to Canada when I was 17 years old. Back then, I barely spoke English and I also didn't understand cultural norms. I was so worried about what people thought of me, that's why I stifled my personality. To avoid any judgment, I just kept things to myself and became known as the quiet one by those around me. Just to be clear, I'm not saying you should be loud and obnoxious. You should always be empathetic and put yourself in other people's situation. But if you want to stand out during your interactions, you have to become more outspoken. Stop filtering yourself all the time. Get in the habit of thinking out loud and making more statements. To help you with this, get out of your head and pay attention to what's happening around you. Use your environment or the situation that you're in to help you come up with things to discuss with others. The key here is to stop overthinking and just say the first thing that comes to mind. Whatever you share doesn't have to be anything unique or complicated. So stop trying to impress others and just focus on expressing yourself. Believe it or not, nobody's paying as much attention to you as you might assume. The same way that you're concerned about the opinions of others, almost everyone is worried about the exact same thing. They don't have time to think about you because they're too preoccupied with themselves. I mean, just think about it. Unless it was recent or something really bad happened, you probably can't remember embarrassing things that others did, right? Even if you say something silly or make a mistake, I can assure you that most people would have forgotten about it by the end of the day. By keeping this perspective in mind, you'll feel more relaxed interacting with others. As a result, you'll act more like yourself, which will help you become more expressive in any social situation. To help you out, I made a free cheat sheet that will show you how to approach and talk to anybody. You can download a free copy by going to socialconfidencemastery.com. That link is also available in the description below. Tip number five is to present yourself well. On top of being short, I used to be massively overweight. Standing at only 5'5", I tipped the scale at 200 pounds and had a 36 inch waist. Back then, I also didn't care much about the clothes that I was wearing. As a result, not many people took me seriously simply because I didn't look like it. Thank goodness that's no longer the case today. Because I paid attention to my appearance, people respect me more. They take what I have to say more seriously despite of my physical stature. The truth is, your looks really do matter. At the end of the day, we all make snap judgments about people right away based on what we see. And then, we make assumptions about what kind of person we think they are. If you don't look authoritative, then you're going to have to work even harder to convey your ideas to others. Keep in mind that your style, body language, and overall demeanor are the first few things people see. That being said, if you want to be taken more seriously during your interactions, you have to put some effort into your presentation. To help you get started, make sure you dress more intentionally. Before you go to any event or gathering, figure out what the dress code is going to be. And then, put together your outfit accordingly. Whether it's casual or formal, make sure your clothes are clean, up-to-date, and well-fitting. Remember to groom yourself properly as well. I know it sounds obvious, but make sure you shower, do your hair, and brush your teeth regularly. On top of that, remember to have a more open body language. Whatever you do, avoid crossing your arms or legs. If you do, you'll come across unfriendly, which will push people away. To appear more warm and approachable, stand up straight, maintain proper eye contact, and have a genuine smile on your face. If you're not doing it already, I highly encourage you to adopt a health and fitness routine. Pick a workout program that you like and eat mostly whole foods. Drink lots of water and get enough sleep. When you're physically fit, you'll feel good about yourself. Your clothes will fit you so much better as well. By doing all these things, you'll look like someone worth getting to know. As a result, more people will want to hear you out. If you want to be heard more often in social situations, then make sure you watch this next video. That's where I give you more actionable tips on how to express yourself better. By the end of it, you'll get more people to pay attention to you, so make sure you check it out.